In the present appeal, the insurance company has challenged the award only on the ground that the compensation awarded to the claimants is excessive and arbitrary and the rate of interest awarded by the tribunal that is 8% per annum calculated from the date of filing the claim petition is also arbitrary stop. It was argued by the counsel for the appellant that in column 6 of the claim petition the claimant has stated the income of the deceased to be rupees 15,000 per annum and therefore the tribunal had acted arbitrarily in determining the compensation on the basis of a notional income of rupees 20,000 per annum stock. It was also argued by the counsel for the appellant that the the seized was a bachelor and therefore while determining the multiplication, 50% should have been deducted as personal expenses from the notional income of the deceased and the tribunal had erred in deducting only one third as personal expenses of the deceased stock. It was argued that in view of the aforesaid the award of the tribunal is liable to be modified by reducing the compensation payable to the claimant stock para rebutting the argument of the counsel for the appellant the counsel for the claimant has argued that the income of the deceased was stated to be rupees 15000 per annum column 6 of the claim petition on the basis of the notional income provided in paragraph 6 of the second schedule stop. It was argued by the counsel for the claimant that under section 16 of the Act 1988 the tribunal is required to hold an inquiry into the claim and award just compensation and the compensation payable to the claimants would not be reduced because a lesser amount was claimed as compensation in the claim petition stop in support of his cross objection the counsel for the claimant has argued that from the evidence on record it was proved that at the time of his death the deceased was earning rupees 5000 per month and therefore the tribunal had acted arbitrarily in determining compensation on the basis of a national income of rupees 20,000 per annum stop. It was also argued by the counsel for the claimant that the multiplier has to be decided considering the age of the deceased and not the age of the parents of the deceased stop. It was further argued that the tribunal had also erred in not awarding any amount to the claimant for funeral expenses and loss of estate as well as for loss of love and affection stock. It was further argued by the counsel for the claimant that the claimant was entitled to interest of 12% per annum and the award of the tribunal awarding merely 8% per annum as interest of liable to be modified stop thus it is held that the deceased was unemployed and the argument of the counsel of the claimant that compensation should be determined taking the income of the deceased as rupees 5000 per month is rejected stop the notional income of the deceased and the consequential compensation payable to the claimant is decided later on in the judgments. अगर वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो लाइक जरूर कीजिएगा और कमेंट सेक्शन में अपनी शॉर्टेंड से रिलेटेड जो भी परेशानी है उसे जरूर डालिएगा